Happy Monday, everyone. Carmen Broxma here with Choose Joy with Carmen. And today's card is going to be using this gorgeous paper from the flowering, it's called Flowering Fields. And I'll just run through it really quick. I just think it's so pretty. And the reason why I chose this was because we just uh, did our clock changes to uh, the spring forward. And I believe this weekend is the first day of spring. So I, when I thought of spring, I thought of this paper. So I wanted to do something based on the spring. So here was this side of tulips. And then the back side is this. And then we have these tulips. And then the back side looks like this. And there's no tulips on this one, but it's this pretty polka dot paper. And then it looks like clouds on the back side of that. Then there's these tulips and the back side of that. Beautiful. And then we have this one. I really like this one a lot. And the back side looks like this. And then the one we're using today, of course, is gonna be my favorite one because I love the colors in it. And this is the back side. And so the reason why I decided to do the card today was because I love designer series paper and I tend to be a hoarder when it comes to that. And so I'm trying to find cards that uses designer series paper up so that I can not try to get away from my addiction of hoarding it. So today we are going to do a card based on a card that I saw done by, I think her name is Alisa Tilsner and she's from Australia. And I might tweak the card just a little bit differently, but um, for the most part, we're gonna do it like she did it. So basically, you have to take, um, you cut your designer series paper and you can get two cards out of one 12 by 12 designer series paper. And so this is the 12 and then you cut it down to five and a half and then you're left over with that extra strip at the bottom and we're going to be using that as well. We don't want to waste any paper. So what she said to do is you need to, um, so this paper has a direction and the tulips are going this way, but, um, in order to score it, she has you turn it upside down. And then we're going to bring in the paper trimmer and we're gonna do some scoring. So let's see if I can get this in the camera here. And so we've turned it upside down. So now the paper is going up, you know, in the opposite direction. And we're gonna do our first score mark at four and one eighth. Now she did hers well, she did hers in centimeters, so I had to figure it out. But I don't think she made her card this long. But um, I like I wanted a standard card. So we're going to do it at 4 and 1 eighth, our first score line. And make sure you use the scoring blade and not the cutting tool. I've been known to do that. And then our next score line is going to be at 8 and a quarter. So let me go ahead and open this up here so that we can see where eight and a quarter is. So eight and a quarter. And then we're gonna go ahead and score that. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and I'll get this out of our way. And now we're going to turn it back around and 
so this far score line, um, we're just going to go ahead and, it's hard to see it, but we're going to go ahead and fold it like inside of it instead of normally the way we fold it the other direction. So we're going to fold this this way and you could use your bone folder if you'd like. And then you're going to take the other end and find the score line there and I'm going to try to I want to get that even with the edge so I'm going to try to do it there and then fold it that way and the reason why I liked it was because with this front panel being shorter you could see the back side of the paper and then you can also on the back see the back. So I love this technique because sometimes I hate to hide the back side of the paper because it's just as pretty as the side that I'm using. So <clears throat> now what she did was she just treated this as like a fun fold where you would open it up like this. But I'm not so sure that people would know they would get this in the mail and they'd probably wonder well why is that flapping around so I didn't really like that so I want to just open it like a normal card so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my adhesive oops and then I left it over here sorry about that so I'm going to grab my adhesive and I am going to adhere this down and like I said, you don't have to. She just left it like this, but I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on this side over here. And I am going to glue it down so that it opens up like a normal card. So there we go. But yet, you still have that little border there. And then, I've already done this before because I wanted this to be a quick card. But we are using the, what well, I'm using today, the flowering rain boots. And I'm just using the sentiment in there. And I'm using the... Uh, let's see this these two dies right here and they come on it's a, they're both stitched and they're part of the tasteful labels um, dies so I use those two so I took a piece of basic white and I stamped the sentiment on that and then I die cut it out with this and then we got this live life in full bloom. So there's that. And then I wanted a little extra something. So I went ahead and took this and I took the rich razzleberry and I die cut it out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want this and I'm gonna glue it. And I'm probably gonna use the liquid glue so that I can move it around. So I'm just going to put glue on half of this because and we're going to put it on the front side because we're going to be uh, putting it underneath that other piece. Okay glue come out of there. So let's get this started and get this come out of there like that. And we'll take our sentiment and we're just going to go ahead and find where you like it, however far out you want that to show, like that. Okay, so now, so that we don't... <clears throat> cover up that beautiful paper I'm going to go ahead and grab my Stampin' Dimensionals and we're going to adhere that down with our 
Stampin' Dimensional. So I'm going to take a couple of the large ones. And maybe I'll do four so that I can kind of make sure it's really stable there. And I'll do one at the end here. So there we go. So now let's go ahead and pull that off. The backings off of those. And then find a place where you want to put this on the front of your card. And I kind of like it somewhere around there because I, like I said, this paper is just so pretty. It just does everything that you need for the card. But then on the inside, you're probably wondering, well, how am I going to go ahead and write my no, right? So what I did, I told you that you get that extra little piece at the bottom when you cut off if you wanted to make two cards. So I decided to get a, I think this is a three by four and a quarter. I'll check it and I'll have all the dimensions on my blog. And then when I took um, this and die cut it down to three inches, then I, I mean die cut it, cut it down to three inches wide, then I cut that piece in half. And I went ahead and adhered that to the bottom of this uh, basic white cardstock. And then I ran it through my die cut machine and I used the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is on sale this month. And I used the Stitch So Sweetly dies and I took the larger one and die cut that out after I glued that bottom piece down. That way it would be all included. So after I glued that down, I stuck this on here, ran it through the machine, and then this is what you get right here. But then I wanted to back it up with something so that, so I went ahead and just cut a little larger Rich Razzleberry cardstock. And now we're gonna adhere this to that piece. I'm telling you, this is such a quick and easy card. And to me, it's still beautiful because like I said, the designer paper is gorgeous. And like I told you, I struggle with wanting to keep it all and buy it all because it's so pretty. Okay, so now we have that little border there. And then we can just go ahead and hear this to the inside of the card. And then you have a little place to write your little sentiment. And there we go. And then we'll be done with this card. See how quick and easy, but yet beautiful in my opinion. So now just trying to find the nice, because it's hard to see that score line there, um, to even it up. There we go. So there you have it. Look at that card. Live life in full bloom and open it up. Have a place to write your little message. And then that's the back of the card so you can see both sides of the card stuck. Love it, love it, love it. So there you go. There is today's card. Um, if you enjoyed that, you know, if you want to share it with your friends, I would appreciate it. Um, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I really appreciate you all. That has been so helpful. And if you're new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you like what you see. If you want to subscribe, that would be great as well. So you have a great rest of your week as we approach the first day of spring. And we will see you again next Monday for my next episode of Mojoy Monday. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.